I'm Warren Brand. Well inside last night, I did a solo wild camp out on the top and completed a lovely circular tour of the peak. Rather windy last night though, but exhilarating being out once again. Stick with me to catch the views along the route and check out this iconic structure right behind me. From the pub at Ribblehead, I took the broad track past the northeast side of the viaduct. Visiting Wernside has to include a wander around the piers of the iconic Ribblehead viaduct and a moment given to think about how hard its creators must have toiled in its construction. At 400 metres long and 32 metres high, it has 24 bold arches. It took five years to build at a significant cost of both money and human life. Over 2,000 people worked on the structure and they lived in a makeshift town just next to it. The Midland Railway aspired to run a main line route up through the spine of England. This section of railway is known well as the Settle and Carlisle Line. It flies over the viaduct before diving deep into Bleemore Tunnel just around the curve. I went on a steam special with my dad many decades ago. In those days, the windows dropped down, so I had my head out the window most of the time to see the views. Blee Moor signal box is stranded by the side of the track a bit further along, and is the next key point along the trek. Easy plodding, this bit. Four Skill Waterfall runs off by the aqueduct next to the footbridge over the railway. I assume the railway navvies had to divert Four Skill to avoid the railway becoming the bed of the stream. From point two on the map, the railway bridge, the path up to the summit is easy going. The weather was staying dry for the time being, but the forecast was for more rain. Wernside is the highest peak in the Yorkshire Dales. Quite often, Done as part of the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge, this mountain is not overly challenging. Uh, I did say overly. There are some craggy bits to negotiate on the other side, but otherwise much of the route is along good paths.
By the time I was at the top, the cloud was spoiling the views and the winds had picked up again. I squeezed through the narrow gap in the wall to check in with the trig point and then continued south to find a good spot for my tent. I was keen to stay high as I could but needed a shelter spot which was reasonably flat. Luckily, I found a suitably grassy patch near a stone wall which would act as a windbreak. By the time I set out my tent, cooked my pasta and sorted my gear, the weather returned, so I just settled in for the night. Well, good morning. Time to uh, rise and shine. I haven't ventured out yet at all. It is uh, up or seven. Let's see what the, uh, the weather is outside. It's still windy, sheltered by the wall slightly, so not getting it full blast on the tent, fortunately, during the night. But it, uh, it's been windy, uh, but less rainy. So let's, let's have a look outside. Having sorted out my gear and making sure I'd left no trace of my stop last night, I negotiated the steeper part of the walk. As I lost tight, I left the cloud base behind and fortunately the views cleared somewhat. By the time I was down at the pass junction, here at point four on the map, the weather was improving and I felt really good having completed the overnight solo wild camp and trek over Wernside. The path to here from the top is part of the popular Three Peaks route. It continued southwards to cross the road on the way to Ingleborough. This morning, I'm heading straight back to the car, so I took the bridleway northeastwards towards the viaduct. Along this section, there were some lovely stone cottages, holiday places, all neatly made up and tidy.
Just after passing through a farm on the track, I took the right turn to find the route along the valley to the arches of the viaduct once again. Back at the car, I did the usual change of clothes and gave the overnight trek a big thumbs up. Thank you for clicking on this video. I aim to upload another video in a week or so and it would be great if you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button too. I've added some notes to the description below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.